Yo, what up, Metaphor? Welcome to the vault. All right, so what do we have, Slick? So if y'all watched the previous video, y'all might have caught a couple of these grails. 2001 joint. The colors. Yeah, that's the one that was raving about. Yeah, the colors on this is just wildin'. Don't, don't watch that video. Yeah, Let's don't. see what else you got in here in so, this vault. this is a nice uh, big face shack. And is your vault open or is it closed? Uh, everything is open, baby. Everything is open, baby. Big face shack. Sheesh. Look at that. It's a nice print. A lot of people like this. With uh, tags. Yeah, so let's see. Maybe the not so generic stuff. Or this is a cool print from the 2002. Yeah, that's a good. Just straight to the point yeah, piece. Yeah, straight to the point piece. And I don't know about you, but I think I would rock it with, with the sticker. Oh, with the little hot <laughs> sticker. Yeah, yeah, you gotta show them that it's legit. Uh, a couple of joints that people like. The little script. More, two, more 2000. Oh, this one is nice. This one has a front and a back. So this was from the 2000. If you guys remember who we played in the West, it was the Kings. And then we played the Nets, swept they ass. Ooh, oh, so it's the actual. Yeah, so this is yeah, the whole playoff tree right here. That's dope. So if y'all remember that. I think these are Paretes, so these are dope. Oh, the Paretes. Yeah, oh, Ooh, okay. the shag. Yeah, so a lot of people rec remember the Super Shag, the Superman. One of the most dominant big men in the game at the time, so. Oh, this one's one of my favorites, yo. This print is just crazy. Oh, yeah. The colors on this is just so nice. It's from 2000. No back, but still pretty dope. This is a pretty nice print as well. Everything is on Lee Tag. Um, we kind of came up on the storage unit that had all of the best of the best in Lakers stuff. Oh, this is on all sport. That's a better thing. Yeah, this so is this is a single stitch, right? Uh, yes, yeah. sir. It's a single stitch. Woo. All sports are single stitch. Yeah, yeah, this is a nice print. Got a couple the of these. Ship. So, Where, ooh. so this one's a really dope one. Uh, you don't ever see this print. This is a Magic Johnson Salem. And um, it's a big shirt, a big size. Yeah, so uh, you always see these on like medium, large. But the fact that this is a 2X, single stitched, heather colorway, it's just a, such a dope shirt. Uh, it's winning time again, baby. And where, if they want to buy these buy these pieces, where can they find them at? Or where um, can they find you at? You guys can always go on my Instagram page. It's uh, Slick1600. 1600. Right easy, easy to remember. Um, I got a, the Froby. Do you have them up already? Or they just should uh, they just hit you about it? Um, most of the time they're up. If they're not, I will be posting some stuff up soon. So definitely keep yourself updated. The Shag pieces, always been my favorite. I'm mostly known for my hat collection. Um, here's our how about some non-Lakers Yeah, let's hats. do that. So if you guys follow rap videos closely, this is the uh, Snoop Doggy Dog, uh, nothing but a G-Thang joint. This is the exact same colorway, green under brim. You guys can look up pictures. This one actually is my favorite one that I recently picked up. Ooh, yeah, I've seen this So one. this one is actually a licensed on a gem tag, which is, I've never seen this ever in my life. Mm. So this is a beautiful hat for sure. Then the bootleg version. Mm, the trifecta. Yeah, the bootleg. I got all the colorways. Bootleg still looks hard though. I got all the colorways. The Dr. Dre hit in the back. Yeah, so I got all the colorways. So my Laker hats, um, a lot of people know me for collecting like the best Laker hats. Like this is an 80s cord. Single line script with the robe detail, pretty dope. Uh, one of the biggest, most sought after hats right now in the hat collecting is this Lakers Splash. There's about 10 of these floating around, maybe 15. I've been seeing more of these pop up, but I expect this to cost you more than 400 bucks for sure. Ooh, it's a pretty penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the most famous Laker hats out there is the Motion uh, script by Starter. This is a super beat up one just because I've worn this to shreds basically. Wait, is this the one I sold you? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think the cut up one. Yeah, this one was pretty Android up. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Metaphor AOTA, aka AOTA Vintage. Who, Damn, he's who, used that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has been through some things. See, that oh, was no. in the beginning when we were going to the first Rose Bowls together. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yep, yep. All he did was, like he said, he specialized in just hats, and I had all shirts. I have uh, just different stuff lying around everywhere. I have, like, Laker tees. I have some movie tees that I, that I, you know, I like the Matrix or whatever. Oh, that's a really good piece. So this is, like, a 2003. 
license the Warner license Brothers. Warner Brothers on the Fruit of the Loom tag. A lot of people always ask me for my Matrix stuff, but I'm good. All right, let's talk about some stuff. Uh, let's talk about Disney. Disney, a lot of people been talking about Disney hype. This Iago American Needle Tune Blockhead is uh, is actually quite rare. You don't see this one as often. Uh, the Aladdin and Jafar are also very rare. So expect to pay a nice amount for these type of hats. Yeah, I was having a conversation with them, um, I think on a second episode, basically saying, uh, oh, we're talking about the Genie, $6,000. Oh yeah, yeah, six thousand dollars is enough to pay your rent for like I don't know how many months. And what's in these boxes here? This box right here is probably the most valuable box I own with my biggest grails. This one being the top one. Uh, this double shark tooth is certified two of two in the world. Yeah, I did say that in the world. I've looked at every collector we've been on forums trying to find a third and it has so you not. know the other person who has the other yes one. i do he is a collector from japan so it used to be uh another collector here in pomona who owned it but he sold it for should i say the number say it. two thousand dollars usd to the, the guy in japan to the guy in japan so i'm the only u.s collector with this hat right now and then and if you guys saw the earlier episode i own the jacket as well Sheesh. so that combination is for sure unrivaled where did you get it from so I got it from the guy who had the two, the, the two in the U.S. He sold me one, and um, that that story that's a story for a different day. But um, I ended up paying 450 bucks to acquire this hat, and now it's been valued at almost five, six times that. So. So did you get the, the hat before the guy in Japan? Uh, yes, I did. Me and the U.S. collector were the first ones to own it here in the U.S., and then he got rid of his, and then I I still have mine. So this that's is never going anywhere. Damn. If you guys follow Kobe Bryant, uh, these are the draft day hats. This is the alternate colorway, which is really rare. You don't you don't ever see this black colorway. This white one everyone has. Um, here's a little special treat. I also have them in use. So whenever I have my next of kin, they will have a matching. And I mean, there's going to be little kids on here. There's going to be people who don't know. Why are you showing the Hornets? Um, so the Hornets, uh, if you guys remember history correctly, the Charlotte Hornets drafted Kobe Bryant with the 13th pick and they had a draft day trade for Vladi Divac who actually threatened to derail the whole deal. He threatened to retire if the deal went through. So after they talked him down, Vladi Divac went to the Hornets and we got the legendary Kobe Bryant. And if you guys look at Google searches, you guys will see that Kobe wears this hat in the beginning and then wears this one afterwards. This is another confirmed uh, under under five or six in the world. Uh, you don't ever see this one. I actually own two of these. Uh, one of them is being uh, clean and reshaped by the homie Throw Caps. You guys should follow him on Instagram. Uh, but this is one of the best Laker grails out there, the black colored shark tooth. A lot of people have the white one, but the black one uh, you don't see. I mean, I just, I could go forever showing. What's the, wait, 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 they want, they're, they're going to be like, why didn't you just show the last one? The last one that I have in here is a Deathstock Laker Shockwave. Uh, this one was gifted to me by my wife on Christmas, I want to say two years ago. As you can see, I still have not popped the tags still original i know it's everything. i know it's a, a strap bag but th that piece is fire yeah so this is a very difficult piece to find um i used to own the black version but like a dummy i ended up selling it i know but yeah this is one of uh that's a great piece that's yeah. a great box actually yeah the boxes themselves they're uh sports specialties original boxes so there a lot of people want these but you know can't get can't get rid of these looking at the old heads old heads logo whatever hey you like to specialize in sports specialties yes right? yes so uh so most people have known me for getting like hats um getting getting sports specialties brand hats this is unrelated if you guys look at the tags on here, they're always sports specialties tags. Mm, as you can see. So the old head LA is basically an ode, an homage to the sports specialties brand that basically has created a small business for me. I appreciate everyone that, you know, rocks with me and buys off of me. But as you guys can tell, I mean, I work hard to get you guys the best of the best of, you know, whatever you guys are looking for. And know? that's a fact. In here, we got a bunch of hats that I've acquired over time. Uh, yeah. Some of these are available for sale. Um, these are just some some iconic uh, styles. Like the circle logo is pretty iconic. Uh, if you guys ever look at uh, NWA pictures, you'll see Easy E wearing the Raiders version, which is the most valuable one. Corduroy recently has been coming up in value just because of the style and the and the feel of the 90s. 
much. I mean, my head. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice one too. Yep. Pinstripes have always had always. a special place in in snapbacks. A lot of people like them. Starter is a very iconic brand. Um, the Sharks, you know, very nice team colorway this one is one of the most coveted hats out there in the snapback game i have a couple stories about this I, I unfortunately can't disclose the prices that i've sold these for and let's just say that it will run you a nice amount in today's i've seen market. believe me i've seen and then it's on the as usual the tag that everyone likes actually this movie one is pretty dope if you guys like movie promo hats the cb4 with chris rock you want to know something funny? What? I have a jacket and I have a tank top. Hey, you CD4. see? So there it is, guys. So Fire. we got you on the fit. Pins, if you're into pins, I like collecting uh, pins as well. These are some nice ones. A lot of people like the old English joints. Mm -hmm. I have quite a few. Uh, this is an NBA. Typically, they have a back hit, but this one just has the front and the side hit. But these colors are pretty pretty dope. Yeah, you know? pops so, out. Oh, actually, here goes more uh, old English joints that I was telling you guys about. With the oh, back I like hit. this little, you see, you see the colors? Yeah, so the color the scheme. Colors. Beautiful. Plain logos on the front. Just simple, but the back hit is always what does it, you know? Yeah. What's over here on this side? Because I see bags and bags and bags of craziness. All right, so um, as I told you guys before, I did uh, buy out of storage, and it ended up having a bunch of, like, Laker heat. So this is just like a uh, twill material scripts. These are brand new. It's just difficult to find them in this condition nowadays. Everybody sells used. I mean, most people pick and, and go to thrifts. So most stuff is used. So it's always really nice to see like these come out in brand new condition. And these are for sale, right? Everything is for sale. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or follow uh, AOTA Vintage, you guys will see that I have all of this stuff on sale. NWA. Um, crazy story about this one is that I've sold a very beat up version for quite a bit of money. So this means that this is one of the difficult Raider joints to find. To have it in pretty nice condition is. And what makes it so so valuable? So I think what people want is they want to capture that 90s Los Angeles feeling. I think what was prominent back then was gangs, rap music. So everything was really street police related, things like that. So when people think about the Raiders in the 90s, people think about you know nwa people think about you know unruly fans people think of that kind of stuff so i think that's what people want to capture when they buy these vintage pieces dope dope i mean y'all y'all can see we go hours and hours and hours for this but i just wanted to show a little bit of the homies vault just introduce this new concept of i mean because just like me I, I i started doing the vintage talk because i needed to show my pieces like i can't just keep them in just like hanged up or in bins you know what i mean so i started thinking i was like i know a couple people that have great vaults so what better way to start it off with my boy slick and yeah with that that's the first episode of Yo, what up, Metaphor? Appreciate you inviting me for uh, Vintage Talks and uh, for allowing me to show the vault. Uh, I know I said I was done, but they just hit me up today, this morning, and I had to go pick these up. So as you can see, the vault has grown even bigger. Lakers locker room, baby, all day, every day. Hit me up. Metaphor, appreciate you, my man. AOTA Vintage, let's get it.